So today we are going to cover an experiment for a conversion division nozzle and software uses this ANSYS workbench and Fluent is a CFT module which is used over there and uh, and myself Charles G. Martin self assistant professor from Binance Server for the Engineering the Aeronautical Department okay. we will be studying the experiment we will be going to the experiment the problem of definition so CD nozzle is a very good uh, study just to be done in CFT and uh, here the flow acting inside a body gets compressed so we can say this as a compressible flow condition and as you can see the inlet pressure mentioned so this is inlet and this is outlet and uh, so at inlet pressure so it is three bars so outlet pressure is going to be zero according to the nearest stroke equations and continuity equations both are being equated to zero so that the pressure is going to be directly diverted to the atmosphere and without any interference by you giving outlet pressure values and the property of a CD nozzle is the pressure increases at the inlet and velocity decreases and pressure decreases at the outlet and velocity increases and by the way and the main importance of a CD nozzle at the neck is it reaches a sonic condition and at the minimum energy spent it can reach a supersonic velocity that's why it is used in rockets missiles and jet airplanes nozzles engine nozzles okay so we have to go with the experiment so this experiment is carried out in ANSYS workbench so I will be starting with ANSYS workbench so you can see the other modules the static structural and CFTs CFTs are C2, CFT2, CFX and Fluent and I will be going with Fluent just drag and drop on it so if you want to do the model in CATIA, UG, ProE or any other solid modeling tools you have to save that format as .stp and get it to Fluent geometry module uh, to do the geometry cleanup and so go plane sketching and select polyline which is a continuous line because it is a continuous line you will not have any breakages in the line which you're going to draw say close them so it will close it so now we go for constraints first go with symmetry so that you will not be having any hindrance by doing your dimensions okay the dimensions has to be done always press escape to come out of symmetric command otherwise it will be locking around the points so you will not, not be able to do symmetry okay now three symmetries are done next I have to go with dimensions so when giving dimensions be very to check each and every point so it is, you have to be very cautious while giving the dimensions because if you are mentioning the wrong dimensions the shape which you have drawn might get destroyed so first tell now 25 and I need the distance between this and this this is going to be this and this is going to be 25 okay you can double click back and we are done with this but I need distance between this and this and this and this so again I'll click on this to this dimensions so this dimension is 75 so I have done but I need the dimension between this to this so that dimension which I have to mention so click on this so yeah I have completed the model as shown in the PowerPoint. Okay, so 25, 10, 15, 35, and 75. Okay, now we can get back to answers and check whether what we have done is correct. Quick check CL1, 10, L2, 25, L3, 35, L4, 75, L5, 50. Yeah, we are done with this. Go for modeling. Say so concept surface from sketches. Click on this. 
and click on the sketch which you want to select say apply and say generate and don't mention any thickness because it is only reference on the tree a cross section in a 2d has not to be given any thickness see here so i'm going to clean up this thing but controlling the nodes if i have to control the nodes between equal distance so i should have a slit over here so say look at the sketching and you can click on lines so there's a point over here the same if we get point p where it is done now you can go for tools modeling tools face split this is the target face and you have to select two faces so apply we are done with it and say generate the same way so now you can see the filter check the filter there is two surfaces again right click look at again take sketching module and draw two lines okay randomly just say parallel command use parallel command and give parallelism between this cut edge and these two edges now so that i am maintaining the parallel orientation now go for the semi-automatic or say distance is the best advisable this is uh, geometry to constrain uh, dynamics to constrain which you want to take okay now we are going to take this as pi and phi because this is a very critical region the mesh has to be fine so i'm going to do a geometry uh, cleanup over here so that i can do a finer mesh so that i will be i'm not having any problem when doing the mesh okay same way i'll go for tools i'll go for say face split select my target face and just read what it has to be given so geometry can be the two ends and say generate again tools face split select the face and say two faces and say apply and say generate again go for the face filter now check there are say one two three four four splits okay after doing the splits close the design model so right click edit and right click edit it refreshes the whole model gets refreshed see the new model has been updated model you can see now you can control the mesh using there are different types of sizing edge sizing face sizing volume sizing i'll be using edge sizing select all the vertical tools for edge sizing right so now you have to go for machine method click on the supply and select on all quad now go for vertical selections select all the vertical entities say insert sizing and give number of divisions has 3 0 30 and say go for again the edge filter then select using control you have to you have to select control using control you can do multiple selections again after doing that insert sizing again you are going the second divisions as 20 so this is 30 and this is 20 so that we are maintaining equal distance between both and say update so yeah so my god yeah what have i done is unstructured mesh now we should know the difference between structured mesh and unstructured mesh now when you do uh, analysis with unstructured mesh you will get wrong results and that results are not dependable and it can be used for only complex geometries so now because this edge is prismatic i can say the same edge is repeating over the cross section with different scaling i can select all the surfaces using control and say insert i can use one of the magic wand called as max face selection so this max face machine can do structured mesh controlling okay yeah now we are done with structured mesh controlling we have many other uh, tools for biasing you can use bias tools but here i am not using any bias as i am running so i can use hard soft 
to fixing your comments. When I finished my machine, after machine, I can't jump over to fluent suddenly. So we have to mention boundary conditions over here. Right click, create name selections. This is not And these are using control. We can make selections of edge and don't miss any of the outer edge and don't select any inner inner edge. Okay, should be very specific selecting walls. So after doing this, you can select this all the entities and you should not be having any walls inside. You should not select any of these entities as walls. If you do that you will get an error and you will be aborting the full analysis and you have to redo it. Right click and update. So flash symbol is update symbol. So you have to say right click and update so that you will update and you will get a green tick mark. So if you get green tick mark your process is complete. Now I have to jump into event so right click edit. So double pression if you want. Uh, more precise results when you want single iteration I uh, can just always go as okay so default iteration values and uh, without doing name selections as inlet outlet walls and here it will not detect any of the boundaries if you're not giving any name selections so now the name selections has been dragged by when successfully click on it now we have to change it to density based system we are doing a compressible flow condition so and models click on energy equation and activate energy equation and materials click on air and here we are using the ideal gas and the viscosity is this other line the other line is the same just was locked down to this viscosity and the thermal values so we are using the other line viscosity as mentioned in the problem close and boundary conditions inlet so I have to go for pressure inlet say yes let me change the pressure inlet pressure inlet is 3 bars 3 bar is something but 3 e is a value ok and next click on outlet say pressure outlet yeah nice edit so it is going to be 0 ok yeah, that is correct walls say edit so it is stationary wall and no slip wall. Okay, no slip wall. Standard uh, friction. You are going to consider viscosity and friction. So there will be no slip. Okay, now solution methods. Go for monitors. I'm going to create a drag CD on walls. CD was a position. Iterations will be plotted. Okay, it is plotted. Yeah. Next, uh, you want to initialize the solution, it has to be standard, it has to initialize from inlet. Okay, and say initialize. In reference values, also you can say check what is the values which is going to come from inlet. Okay, here you can select and check see this is the values which is going to be initiated. The velocity is 442.78. The same thing you can see over here when you say it has inlet, the same thing if we initialize over here. Say so run calculation and give iterations 500. So your result has to be conversion within that. So now we're, it is plotting a CD versus iteration. Graph. This graph uh, goes for a peak value, after that, it maintains a constant value iteration. So when it is constant, so it is set, it is convergent. The iterations are running. The maximum iteration given is 500, but within that itself it has to converge. Otherwise, you have to increase it to 500 to 1000. Okay, so again, so it has told 210 the solution is converged. Say okay. Again, say calculate. So again, it is saying, yeah, 211. The solution is maintained is constant, and you can continue with your results. Okay. Next, go with graphics and animations and contours. You can click 
So if you want to see the contour, click on this set display. You can see the color coding. Okay, and uh, before interpreting this, first I'll tell how to use this color coding. Now deselect it, deselection, selection is this, and deselection is this, and set field and set display. Now you can see the colored contour. Colored contour is only a representation. So if you want to zoom it, you can zoom it down. Okay. So this is this color contour representation according to your result. So pressure, static pressure. So what we told in the theory, as we told, it is pressure is increasing at the inlet and velocity is decreasing. So in my fluent, when I check the value which I have got in the pressure, so highest pressure is going to be 2.92. If I and three bar was the pressure which I applied over here, yeah, it is high over here and minimum over here. So it is minus 8.75 e to the power of 4. So I can easily say this is maximum pressure and this is a minimum pressure. Now I am going to check the velocity magnitude using Mach number. Set display. Yeah. So the beautiful graph says the contour without the legend is useless. So an engineer should be able to read this contour legend. So this 1.74 e minus 5 e minus 1. Is going to be 0.174 so subsonic Mach number it is a subsonic Mach number for 0.174 now when you see the neck so it is going to be the color coding is around say 0.168 okay so there is a color change at the neck so this color change represents say 1.10 and e to the power of double zero means it is going to be 1.1 so the Mach is achieved the sonic condition which we represented is achieved okay so theoretically what we study we are proving it and we have data to prove it okay and the outlet we have 2.82 yeah we have and we can proceed with these two results so if you want to take a picture of this you have to just click on this and you can say save it as and say pressure so this is velocity, velocity max number, okay, JPG, I will give, save, okay, yes, I am replacing it, then we want this contour of pressure, and yeah, static pressure, set display, and one picture of it, I can take a picture of it and save it as pressure JPG yes so I am overlapping the picture which is already saved in my computer so now the pictures have been taken now I need still more I am not happy with only contours I need plots so I click on XY plots and say pressure and I want to plot across walls walls are the only entities which you can define the pressure variation see check the pressure variation it is beautiful so it is going to interpret that maximum pressure and the neck it is going to reduce and automatically there is a divergence and it is going to get back to minimum pressure region okay same way you can check velocity so if this is matching with that then you can easily interpret so if you want to take pictures out of this just click on the camera command over there and say save and give your own name so this contour which is you are seeing is going to be a velocity mac number contour so if you want to give it as you can give and you can save it as a hard copy it will be a jpeg file and you can say okay press and again I'm going for next pressure static pressure display the yeah. same picture save so pressure okay. okay and uh, now we wanted the plots pictures again so I already showed the how to take the plots same way you want to plot pictures across the walls with a plot you will be getting the graph and you want to take the same picture you can take the picture and say save image as pressure plot 
Close and same way you can take velocity, velocity magnitude, and say plot on walls, say this velocity mag number on walls, and you can get the variation and it is matching with the results of the play here and close now we can prove that with these two values that our pressure is minimum at the exit and velocity is maximum at the exit and using the subsonic condition you can reach the supersonic condition using a mechanical component CD nozzle you can uh, set the files that we have said this is a pressure plot it's a magnetic plot the static pressure as it is this very important graph you can interpret it easily that the pressure is dipping and the pressure was maximum at the inlet and this minimum outlet and the uh, velocity the uh, according to the number it is pretty minimum that is in subsonic version that times for sonic version that times for supersonic version successfully showing the theory was correct what the theory was behind the CD nozzle was correct okay so now uh, we are entering into ANSYS advanced post processing so that is results which can be animated and much more user friendly and is not necessary but you can check it is an additional information so this is ANSYS CFD doing force processing or ANSYS post processing tool and this is only available in ANSYS so right click and set predefined camera Z plus so that you will be getting in the front view and don't please click on any of the icons if you are if you're clicking it it will get blocked with you just go on streamline say ok and say start from inlet and give equal to CC plus and say apply you will get the more animated streak lines just going to be seen over there the path lines which is going to be selected over there from the low velocity region to high velocity region so same way you can represent in contours for pressure so if you don't want to see this you can just untick this and you want to see uh, pressure variation click on contour and it should not be inlet it should be symmetry and say apply so now there's a pressure variation, same base, same values, whichever it has seen over here, which you saw. And fluent and same thing is available in ANSYS Post Processor 2. And the beauty of ANSYS Post Processor is if you want to see pressure, you can see pressure and velocity. And even you can animate these tools. So you click on an image, so click on streamline and make it a little slow and say play. And you can see the particles, which are the particles which is going to move very fast. Okay, so so beautiful animation shows representing the particles move very fast after the making process. So how it reaches a supersonic condition, and this legend graph shows it. Okay, so if you want to stop, you have to stop with this red icon over here. Let us say stop. Thank you for hearing for this lecture and any queries about this topic can be mailed to me as mentioned in the beginning of the slide uh, thank you once again